well, the, you, there's no way you can accommodate that. I can work with you. I can work certainly with you to flex some of that. And when when is the earliest we could get that stock? Six months time. So you're telling me something that we need in six weeks. You can't get for six months. Absolutely. Has this been flagged up to, to us before? Yes. When? So with your predecessor, and that's where the critical path is in place. Uh -huh. So I think there's a middle ground. Okay. There's absolutely a middle ground where we can tweak some bits and pieces. Because this is, this is an enormous, you know, this, this is an, a really big obstacle for us, obviously. Absolutely. Because we did want that change to be in place. Yeah. Um, and that this is going to throw all our plans off. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit concerned, and I'm a bit concerned that we we haven't all worked together on this a bit more, and, and the alarm bells haven't been going off a bit more, because obviously, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this role. Absolutely. I think there's, I think there's a multitude of communication channels that have probably fallen over with transition of people right. um, between our teams and your team as well. Okay. Um, and I think doing what's right for the customer is really, really important. On the way of getting there, we need to meet halfway somewhere to get both. So the, the products we've bought actually are right at the time. They're not probably as strong as you would get if you could pick mm. new, as you are now. However, they're in the business and they're in the right ballpark. So I think we need to get there and understand, perhaps by sharing the vision a little bit earlier to the forward to coming events, that that's where we can make our real impact. And, and what impact is that going to have on my resources for my team? Realistically. I think very little in the sense that the original plans have already been done. So we just need to go back to those in the very short term. Okay. So we have to go back. And when are we, when are we going to be able to put our new plans in place? Because obviously we want to make these changes as soon as possible. Yeah, absolutely. I think there are elements that can be started pretty much immediately with pricing right. and maybe the communication of the customer offer. I think we can absolutely work together to get there very, very quickly. But in terms of product sourcing, the absolute earliest we can start looking at that is Christmas. That's not really what we wanted, is it? Um, oh, I don't... You know, I, I, I really don't want to, to go down this route. I, um, I mean, you've got to look at things what, you know, our resources are really stretched. Um, and we do have the pr prerogative to change events. Yeah, I, and for plans, if, if the plan isn't strong enough, and we strongly felt that that plan wasn't strong enough. And I think that the I opportunity mean, for us is to identify that earlier going forwards. Mm, so, mm. But are you telling me you definitely can't do anything sooner than six months? Not on the product, I can't. There's your priority list. So yes. those are your projects. Those are the resources you know we have. Which of those yeah, projects do you want to see? Well, I, I understand what you're saying, but this guy needs to go to Malaysia. And okay. then, you know, if he doesn't go to Malaysia, then there's going to be problems in Malaysia. So uh, I need to get that done. Tom Nash is already here with me. Right. Um, so which of these shall we slip? Well, I don't want to slip any of them. So we need to slip one. We can't. Okay. So we don't need Malaysia. Well, we have. So you're now putting me no, in a no. situation. Well, I don't think I am, Martin. I think you're being... Uh... Let, let's pause it there. Okay. Lisa. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 so I think I've articulated clearly he has a set number of resources and an amount of work he needs to achieve. Mm. I've tried to point out that he's made a commitment mm. that he has to use my resources more effectively. Mm. Mm. So I think I've stated those facts to him. Mm. Mm. So um, I just think because he's he knows where he's landed himself in terms of commitment, my answer just isn't working for him. Mm. Mm. It damages the whole brand for us and, and I, I imagine for a big lady as well. So, so are you happy then for me to get in touch firstly with your legal team just to explain all our requirements and secondly with your technical director to make sure that they're absolutely crystal clear on what our, our minimum standards are? Yeah, legal team first, run it through. I, want, I do want an answer about whether this is going to be an annual cost to us, yeah. an annual sort of hassle to us because yeah. I, don't, I don't really don't think we're going to be able to agree on that. But let me just take a couple of moments just to explain that. Annually, you've got an opportunity to, um, if, you know, the, the, with me,
me being there, I can go back every year and say we have a fantastic relationship and we keep growing that. And like, the more that we have a transparent relationship, the more effectively the more business will come our way. In, in theory, of course, I'm not commercial. I can't guarantee that, but we have to have those standards in place. You. It depends on the risk. In terms of signing up for a website, you only need to do that once. In terms of sending us the documentation, you need to do that once. However, if there are issues, that's where costs start to incur. Mm. So, for instance, you will start to need to have an annual, an annual audit at the factory. You'll definitely, though, have to say every year we'll need an annual audit at the grower site. Yeah, I mean, I, I, am, I do have concerns for the growers. Yeah. Uh, not that you know, we have anything, there's anything ethically to worry about, but um, it's something we need to discuss with them, I think, as well. Yeah. No, I'd be delighted to, and again, the whole point of this partnership, and it's not just a one-way relationship, we're going on the ground now so that we can actually engage directly with the growers. I can explain the benefits to them. Effectively, it's, a, it's another stamp. It's a win-win, open, yeah. can, can we take a seat and explore okay. this okay. a bit more? Okay. So, Martin, how are you doing? Hi, Yusuf, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good, yes, I'm very good, thank you. Um, Malaysia. Yes, uh, Malaysia. Uh, yeah. uh, a bit of jolly for one of your chaps. Uh, leave one of your uh, tech specs to go over there and sort out this fireball problem that they've got, okay? Okay. Um, needs to be done as a to-do list. Uh, uh, so, so, sorry, um, did you get my email about that? Because I think there's a bit more around it than there is just one of them needs to go over there. I think this week we need to come up with some way of understanding the impact of sending one of those guys. Well, the impact, uh, well, let me tell you the impact of not sending one of those guys. Okay, uh, and the impact of not sending one of those guys is that, you know, you're, you're going to be sat there uh, while Malaysia falls apart yes. uh, with lots of egg on your face for not sending one of those guys. So, okay. you know, best chop chop and get one of them out there pretty damn quick, mm -hmm. all right? Okay, so, Super. so just want to take a couple of minutes to understand the other side of that, you see, because it's not exactly one way street. So you do understand the um, resource constraints that we have. So well, I understand the resources are tight, but uh, so, they in are of, so in terms of the the program of work that you've got to deliver, mm -hmm. the constraints and resources that we have as a team to yes. be able to deliver, it, obviously you're aware we've bolstered that now, so that we can try and get as many projects out as possible. Now the way I look at this, I understand you have a preference to send um, great over there, and that's absolutely fine. That's your property. My resources are for you to use. You see, right, you've got your same preference. I don't have a preference for sending Graham over there. They, so they, they ask for, but the, the, they, um, it, it's, it's required that we have a technical specialist go over there. So I'm not quite sure I understand why a tech specialist is needed, because we normally use just normal TSA, don't we, for this kind of thing? Uh, we, we would if it, was, uh, if it was here in the UK. Um, and that would what, normally be what, what's the difference problem. over there? Uh, the difference over there is um, that they just, uh, the Malaysian people, they, they wouldn't trust uh, a CSA. Ah, okay, fine. Know. So I, I get that, man, because I didn't really understand that culture. Uh, they, they, they want somebody with a little more status. And, uh, fine, got it. Um, so, so we'll send Graham, okay? Right, okay, that's, 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 that's all good. fine. However, what we probably now need to work on is that's going to cause us some constraint around the other projects that we're trying to deliver. So, how shall we? line these resources up more effectively to deliver this or to take Graham into Malaysia. Well that's, Graham, that's good to be, to be perfectly honest, I mean I, I don't understand your schedules, that's, uh, that's okay. a, a so, little bit to you really, but Tom Ash has asked me to, to, to get this sorted for Malaysia, he's you know, in the loop on this one and it's, it's important we get it done. Okay, and presumably Tom Ash is aware that your programs are using these resources and that they're probably in the slip as well. Um, so all I want is Tom. Well, I've talked these resources through with I just uh, don't want Tom. Tom to be in a position where he's expecting everything to be delivered. But clearly, the resources, if we haven't worked out a better plan between us... I'm just going to pause it there. there a uh, uh, so, so much better. Uh, how, how are you? Um, yes, yeah, so it's slightly contrary, because I, I think Rich did a, a good job in pushing me, and I don't think I'll get quite the same resistance from, from you, but... Um, yeah, he, he, he pushed the open button. Yeah. Um, and I, I will certainly try that approach. Put it that way. Well, well how did it? How did it feel? Um, so it felt less confrontational, mm -hmm. and I guess because he really rattles me, I I quite like the fight. So, so. Uh, 
to step back a little bit is slightly out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. um, but I am shrewd enough to know that if I concede a bit mm -hmm. for a bit of game, mm -hmm. then I can do that. Mm -hmm. I don't think you stumble anywhere near as much as you think you do. Mm -hmm. You don't at all. And it's quite natural. It's not. I think it's because you think... <clears throat> I think, you know how sometimes you go kind of blank, so you're talking and I'm like, I can't, I can't even, I had a point, it's gone, I can't remember what I was going to say, so just say something else, and I have a real problem with that, so. Um. When you watch the video back, then you'll see, and I'd encourage you to do that, yeah. just have a, yeah, have a look. Okay. We did well to introduce the word in partnership as well quite a lot, so it felt more, no, you've just got to do it. Whilst you made your point, it wasn't too hard. <laughs>